blow a chant. So we're going to say a little chant with you. Uh, we we'll start from the first one. As you know, the FBI, which is uh, a part of the U.S. Uh, colonial state, has decided to silence our movement. So they attacked our movement on the 29th of July of last year. And uh, the objective is really clear. They want to silence the voice of the re-emerging anti-colonial black movement in the U.S. and in the world. And we are here to let them know we go stop that. And we're here to tell the whole world it's time to organize, it's time to resist, it's time to protect our genuine leaders and our genuine anti-colonial movement uh, around the world. So the first song goes like, drop our charge. Drop our charge. You say against the whole free. Drop all charges. 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 And the next slogan. Hands off the world. Hands off Africa. Hands off Uru. Hands off Africa. Hands off Uru. Hands off Africa. Hands off Africa. Hands off Africa. Hands off Uru. Hands off Uru. Hands off Africa. Hands off Uru. Hands off Africa. Hands off Africa. Hands off Uru. Hands off Uru. Hands off Africa. Hands off Uru. Hands off Africa. Hands off Africa. Hands off Uru. And the first slogan. Hands up, Chairman O'Malley! Hands up, Sergeant now! Hands up, Chairman O'Malley! 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 Can you know three the now. Hands off Penny S Hands off Penny S Hands off Penny S Messi Nevo Hands off Jesse Nevo Hands off Jesse Nevo Hands off Chairman O'Malley Hands off Chairman O'Malley Hands up, Chairman O'Malley! Drop the charges down! And the next one is uh, FBI! Legal lynching! FBI! Legal 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 I think I'm saying this right. So we have
freak by freak, one by one. Why do you think my soul? Why the US government murdered Martin Luther King? Because of free speech. The only thing Martin Luther King did is organize and speak against the oppression of Africans in the yes. US. Yes. They killed Malcolm X because he spoke against the oppression of Africa in the US. That was free speech. Remember the Belgian and Americans, they killed Patrice Lumumba. The only thing he did, he was protect, defend the rights of Africans in the Congo. That was free speech. So we're here to defend free speech. And throughout his 81 years old, throughout, throughout his 81 years old, that's what I'm say, throughout his 81 years, he has been arrested, shot at, beaten, firebombed, paper spray and the prison for exercising his right to speak the truth of life as it is experienced by black people in America. Neither he nor the Huru movement have ever been accused uh, of crimes of violence or theft, only of thought crimes and for exercising the supposed American principle of free speech. This indictment recall the FBI counter -pro program which unleashed assassinations, forced arrests, provocateurs, the ACLU rights. Quantel Pro targeted numerous non-violent protest groups and political dissidents with illegal wiretaps, warrantless physical searches, and an array of other dirty tricks. The FBI has a long history of abusing its national security surveillance powers. The potential for abuse is once again great, particularly given that the line between criminal investigation and foreign intelligence operations have been blurred or erased since 9-11. As a result, intrusive surveillance tools Victory to African Revolution. Victory to Palestine. Victory to African Revolution. Victory to Palestine. Victory to African Revolution. Victory to African Revolution. Victory to African Revolution. Victory to African Revolution. Victory to Papua. Victory to Papua. Victory to people in the West Papua. All Africans who are watching this, who will watch these uh, highlights, you know that black people, African people are oh, And I also want uh, to recognize Baba Munsemba. He's also a, uh, a veteran organizer, particularly he's uh, in amongst the, uh, uh, the Africans from the Congo. And I want to recognize oh, it's the National Action Day. International Action Day. International Action Day. FBI legal legion. Hands of Chairman O'Malley. Hands of Bernie Hayes. Hands of Jesse Neville. FBI legal lynching. International Action Day. To Congo, to Eastern Congo, and the meantime, people have been. That's the that's that's I can see every night on the TV how Palestine are being removed from their home. They tell them we are going to stay in the same place, but actually the same place where they're going to to gather them together and then kill them, just drop one bomb. This actually have been happening in Congo for the last thirty years, and we as the Lumumbis movement, we are determined. To not to let that happen. And the same way Lumumba in the six in the sixth century was killed because he demanded independence. His big, his big sin was that he said political independence cannot be significant if it's not accompanied, accompanied with economic uh, independence. By that it was he was saying that we have to have control of our natural resources and then also have uh, control of our politics. Obviously, the Western power didn't want that. Through the process of a neo colonialist, they sent people and kill him, and then the country has been on the street ever since. So, in this campaign, we are recognizing the pain of African people, the pain of Congolese, and uh, we are determined that people have to be free. The kind of the freedom period.
because all these people are seeking is the same freedom we are fighting for for our our three brothers in the United States. Because it's been going for a long time. We can't let them carry on doing what they're doing. So here, here we are. I'm just getting a bit too, too old for this, but we have to carry on. Yes. Yes. The fight is the fight. The fight is the fight. Yeah. So, um, this is a message for Congolese people through the Congolese are fighting back. Young people, especially the Mai Mai and the Wazilendo, who are fighting, they inherited the, 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 the spirit of fighting from the ancestors when there was, a, was a, during the slave trade. When the Arab was coming into Congo to, to get people to take away, there was an uproar. All the all to defend themselves. That has become as a kind of a process that every every young every young man, girl, or whatever was growing up in Eastern Congo must know the art of fighting back. And this is the one actually fighting the the the, the British trained army in the eastern part. So I've been talking to them. They're fighting, they're not seeking much, they just see some, this kind of recognition that they're doing something to defend them. All they want to be to be free in their own land, in their own villages, to do whatever they want to do. So we see the Labour Party or the people here, the, the leadership in this one, don't want that. But we're not going to tire, we're going to carry on fighting, we're going to carry on guiding them in this struggle. So thank you for coming today, and the fight must go on. Who are we? African. African. Who are we? African. Who are we? African. Who are we? African. Today we are here because we are Africa. Today we are here because we say hearts of Africa. Why? The America make agreement to slaughter people of African, Pacific, Middle East. So as people of black people of from Pacific. I'm standing here in solidarity with my brother and sister. Remember when Hitler slaughtered, massacred Jews, six million. When you slaughter white people, you become well known. Mm. <laughs> and they give reparation. Mm. Six million compared with our brother and sister in Congo. 7 million to 13 million. There is no compensation. Even Lamport, they didn't call him, is more worse than Hitler. Because we are simply black. So what happened in Palestine? Because Balfour Agreement, 2nd November 1917. What the right given to UK to sell out somebody, somebody else? They're supposed to be give blood to the in Germany because Germany responsible to yes. slaughter yes. our family. Yes. In Middle East called Kurdistan, also been slaughtered and killed because Lausanne Agreement 1920 July 1923. And how about West Papua connection with the America? Because America make agreement with Netherlands with Indonesia called New York Agreement without West Papua, mm. without your fam black family in West Papua. Mm. None of West Papua involved that agreement, 1961. This is why man sit down on the table, Netherlands, America, because mining, because oil, mm. same in Congo. So they don't care about black people. Only they care when white people, democracy will supporting them, but when come to the black people, they will prison our brother, leader of the African Socialist Party, Omar. Why? They say there's a freedom of expression. There's democracy. What they demand jail. Not only that. You kill every leader of black people mm. purely for speaking of the interests of the people. Mm. When they say black power in America is not to against the white people, but to organize, mobilize 
for the interest for the, our community. And they call them terrorists, just defending our people. So when Palestinians defending their land, they say, no, sorry, we, we here to defending our state. How come you have right to defending to kill innocent children in Gaza? What logic do you want to make? What argument? How you want to defend your right to defend to bomb, bombing the hospital, bombing the school, bombing the church? So this colonial white European colonial project in Palestine, in Kurdistan, also in West Papua, in Congo. So when we have another a protest for the, our family in Palestinian, but there is no single they have protest for Congo. So what's going on here?